Be like that. Wheel bearing is gone. <coughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Farmer Phil, <coughs> and today he's three wheels on his wagon. Yeah, we're going to be replacing the wheel bearing on the 35, <coughs> as it is gone, really gone. And I probably shouldn't have driven it over, but the tools are obviously at the workshop, and um, yeah, so we need to do this. So, how about to make this a little bit more interesting? I'll say what I think needs to be done, you can tell me whether I'm right or wrong. Well, tell me if you're very interested, I sit down and watch you. Oh. <laughs> uh, that racing may as well do something else. Also, for those of you wondering, that van is now for the farm shop where I'm after getting it. And the other van is Robert's van, he's spreading slurry with the tanker. He's literally just going out there now, doing some of our paddock on ground. And me and Father Phil are literally just back after, um, with the umbilical system, finally come home. And we're on the home straight now for clearing the books and slurry work, but anyways. Because we need the 35 at the minute, the yard scraper's on it, we're using it to scrape down our cubicle sheds, which has our finishing bullocks and heifers in it. Because we're just fed up with all my scrapers. One side doesn't work all together, the other side works half the time, so we just got fed up and we put the yard scraper on it. It's every bit is fucking handy. But there's another issue with the tractor, I'll show you the layer, but anyways. We get started at this. Yeah, the service is up now for that, for that, get that. <laughs> All the sewing done, spuds and all <coughs> the drills and acre of drills to go in, not including the garden out there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's garden ready now. Yeah. Are you sowing the seedlings even there in the garden out there? Yeah. Sowing some there and the potatoes and the pumpkins and the carrots and that in body there. <laughs> Look, look at the amount of play. Inside burn. Oh, inside burn is done. Inside burn. Yeah, and the wheel is still going. As long as the outside burn didn't go. But once oh, the outside burn went, it'll fall off. It'll fall off if the inside burn was alright. Okay. But it was always a bone of contention with them. Two burns. Two burns. Yeah, you can see, that one is tight. Well, pretty. You should change his name to Barrel. Come. Come on. He is getting fat off the calf poo, aren't you? Aren't you? Just look at him. Look at him. Huh? No, You're winning? No. It's not going to work. But you get a different spanner, that one has gone round in the edges. See? It's good and tight, boys. What did you see? Pup for the pass, no old dog, dog for the hard road, road, and the pup for the path. Read point ten of that. No. No. It's a castle nut here. So, and we're straightening one of them ends, that half, that nut half. Well, this spanner fit. No, I need a bigger spanner. Uh, maybe this one. Hmm. No comment. Well, 
Get a big gun and take the nuts off there. Go on, nuts. Just like Daisy. There's no, the, the balls are even gone off. Ah, uh, they'll be gone in there. Yeah. So, this has to come off, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it loose? No. Nope. Why your hands that now? No. Nope. That's what's left of your seal. Right now, start cleaning up and sprucing up. Cleaning up. Seal. Yeah. There's your, you need your washer. You need that again. Putting in a whole new wheel bearing in Oh there. god yeah, look at you there, there all. Oh sure. That's... Now that's the work done. That's gone. I suppose I that would have... The debris, the other one has come into that one. That's, um, that would have been done when we restored the tractor in 08. Yeah, 12 years. 12 years. 13 years. Ago. 13 years. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't last that long when they were new. No. Yeah. So, where do you have the... Is this it here? Yeah. I agree with the box. Yeah. See the two bearings. So that's the outside. Outside, inside. And that's the okay. inner. And then that's the seal. So I have to get this off first, anyways. Yeah, Hammer and chisel. Hammer and chisel. Well, that's the right bearing, yep. Yep. That's the job. It's tight, anyways. I thought you were doing this. So did I. But um, how, did, how did that happen? You just kind of started. How the fuck did that happen? You just picked up the tools and you just went at it and this is what usually happens. I can start something but I generally never get to finish things. Oh, here? <laughs> here? Don't let me stop you. Chisel. Okay. I'm out again. You see, this is what happens. What again? Previous bearing out, out every last bit of it. It's a like grind other bearing. Oh, that's it. Hey, old dog. Put a hard road. Oh, mind you, there was a few potholes along the way. Right the back of the wheel. Right? So what is the special offer for next weekend, shopkeeper? <laughs> Six burgers for four euro. And that's the Saturday special. Every Saturday there will be a special on meat in the farm shop. We have fresh beef this week. I don't think we want fresh beef next week, will we? It'll be the week after before we fresh beef again in our fridge. 10th of April. 10th of April burgers. Six for four euro. Two euro off. So anyways, I leave the shopkeeper to it. So how are you doing? The bearing is a small, like small little bit of play in the hub. Yeah. And, well, as you know, it's not one of our main tractors. It doesn't have to do a lot, but it still has to do what we want it to do. So, we need to buy a new hub. Yeah. To put on it. Yeah. We won't get one this evening, but we will get one in the near future. The Loctite will hold the... Run a bit of Loctite around the bearing. Yeah. Leave it for a few minutes. It'll hold it. It won't be shifting. Yeah. Might make sure I rub the Loctite off the shell of the bearing. Yeah. So, Father Phil has been a busy man while we're waiting oh, for the, the Loctite minutes. to set and I was away doing another job with Uncle Ian. You're after putting a new dynamo on. Yeah, so we've no, it's not charging and I put a new harness on it at, uh, ah, I don't know, it was a couple of months ago I suppose. Yeah. And it still wasn't charging. Yeah. Now we may have to change the regulator box, but I think the old dynamo was well past the sell by date. Yeah. So it's a new um, new dynamo line. Off agri line. All right. So new, and hopefully now she'll be charging now because it wasn't charging and we were having it trouble. Charging. Yeah. Every maybe every month you had to jump start it. I mean, I had to put on the battery charger. Yeah. 
to, to get it running but no if this works now happy days she'll be charging a new wheel bearing now and she'll be ready for the tillage isn't, isn't a loss on her now she'll be ready the, for the tillage one thing and you may see it because we are using her for what we're using her for she's getting a bit mucky and i went to wash it the other day and, and the paint. yeah uh, the shit the shit has taken the paint off it so i think the only way of getting getting around that is to leave it out for a wet night because it's been left inside and let the so the shit that's on it get soft and Softness. then wash it off it and then wax it because I, I i was actually trying to wash it so i had to bring it over and wax it i think it was last sunday that i just wanted to get waxed i'm in a waxing mood now i have 60 to 70 and the sprayer wax and you get the next bit of wax but anyways so yeah that's that's just kind of really annoying me at the minute because took off a bit of paint work anyways well, no worse than what the calves don't do. No, that's all these here is where it got left too tight to a barrier and, and it got well, licked off. Well, it was parked in a shed where there was no cattle. Yeah. But there was a little bit of food. And then someone, in their wisdom, decided to let the cattle down to the next pen to eat up the little bit of silage. And then the paint off me one as well. And the wires. Yeah. And this was a, a restored tractor, but... Uh, it's still a restored tractor. still a restored tractor, isn't it? But it's a restored tractor with a purpose. Yeah. It's not a tractor that sits in a shed gathering dust, it's a tractor that's outside gathering shit. We're having a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. Because there, there is, there literally is nothing like getting on that and tipping in and out of the sheds with the scraper on. It's just... Living the dream. Yeah, it, it's just a, a lovely change from driving the bigger tractors to just get back on a little tractor and fly about the yard 90. Anyways, the grease going on here. With the professional grease gun. <laughs> Give me a rub on <laughs> Right, so we'll have to put the bearing in the other side of that wheel. Yeah. I think that's actually a, a hub off a of 20. That? Mm. Funny feeling. That's Did we not 20. put new hub in it when we restored it? Or is it we just re restored what was there? Well, we need to put, put a whole new front cradle in for the accident. Yeah. There used to be a loader on that tractor. A banana loader? No, uh, a horndronic loader. Horn. A, yellow, a yellow loader. Right. Yeah, but you managed to nut yourself, you will. This is about all I done was take, put, take off the nut. I said, I'm going to watch you doing it. Yeah, you are. Sure, I'm watching you doing it. <laughs> watch me put, to start it and finish it. Not sure. Everyone has to start a job and finish a job. Wrong one. How tight? It was pretty loose now when I, oh, when no, I got it. Hey, no, it's not tight enough yet now. I'm going to get a socket to that for that now. What size is that? 32. Oh yeah, 32 socket. Mm. Put the seal into the bearden into the hub. Yeah. And then shove it in, you can't push in the bearden. Right. The hemp bearing had to be tapped Push. into place. Yeah. So you have to put the seal on first. Yeah. Then put on the wheel. Yeah. And then fiddle the seal in as you're tightening the wheel on. And hopefully that doesn't go the wrong way. Oh Which you didn't. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect fit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and breezy and everything. Right. So just slightly tighten it up another bit. And another bit? Another little bit. And put I don't think there's much. That'll do. There's nothing more in it. Just check to see now where you're generally in the track of that. Generally, oh yeah. There it is hammer. there. Oh, that's hammer? It. Hammer. You the hammer. Have you the license for the hammer you have? Jeez, I want to be now. Uh, license for that hammer you want. Well, we can start it up and see how we got that. Um, charging light. No, no charging light on these now, my dear man. These are not? No. An amp meter. You give me the hammer. Oh, you couldn't win, could There's you? No you couldn't There's win. no winning. There's no winning. You couldn't win. What we'll do is we'll, um, there's a little plug in at the back. There. Oh, and you filled that with grease. Yeah, you you after pumped the grease into it. A couple of days we'll take the house and we'll put in a grease snip. Yeah. And we'll give her a good um, greasing. Greasing. And we'll find a grease gun. Well, he got tightened in the hole, right now. Mm. 
the, uh, the, the correct um, cap for them should have a piece nipple on them in the center. Oh, ah, you do. You can look at it. So that's that's just uh, that's a twenty one, is it? I, I have a funny feeling it is. But I know that that little hub there, that little bung there, tells me that, that wasn't on a thirty five. That bung there. Yeah, that was on a twenty. Yeah. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Oh, I am. Wrong. <sighs> Where's that? There's a silver box up in there. In there. Ah, uh, another video. Another video. Another bit to order off every line. There he is. That is the Massey Ferguson 35. I know it says X, but it's not an X, it's a 35. That mistake was made. But anyways, new wheel bearing in dynamo on it. Still not charged, another job to be done with another day. But anyways, I'm gonna go for back on the yard scraper and scrape down the heifers, but I'm gonna leave it at that for today's video. As always, videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But yeah, that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Good luck. Come on lads, back in. Come on. Look at them lads. Just look at them lads. Oh, serious, serious Angus bullocks. Serious.